Hi everyone, this is Juliette Chatan with Refresh Organizers and Designers and today we're going to talk about mindset aspects to consider before starting your home transformation. So who am I? I'm an architect by training. I was licensed in Brazil. And uh, maybe one of the aspects that differentiate myself from other architects and interior designers is that I really um, believe in aligning my clients with uh, their space. So I look very closely at who they are and how their space can really be supportive of them in terms of color, functionality, textures. So that's really the central point of my work. Um, I also love beautiful things. So that's why I like working with art and culture, different cultures. I was very fortunate that I could live on different continents and uh, be exposed to different experiences of people. So that's something that I bring into my practice. Also the fact that I love giving talks and learning and teaching is really a very important part of my life. So today we're gonna to talk about why you want transformation in your home. What to consider before you start home transformation of any nature and what degree of transformation are you looking for? So why do you want the transformation. It could be for a couple of reasons, and I'm going to suggest some here. Like, for instance, your home is no longer aligned with who you are right now. It could be that there are changes in your uh, family unit. It could be that uh, after these very um, unusual times that we're living in, your home needs to accommodate different activities. Maybe you need a home office, for instance. I have another talk specifically on that. So look for that in our group. Um, or I already mentioned differences, changes in your family uh, or activities that you do at home. And it also can be that you just need some maintenance, renewal. If you have a young dog, for instance, that has been feasting on your couch, chances are that at a certain point you want to change your couch and have something that you also can enjoy. So this is an image of a, a place that we recently have staged, and it really conveys this relaxed atmosphere that we try to create for all of our clients. Your, your home should be the place where you are able to recharge and relax. Of course, you can have different activities in it and you're not gonna be only hanging on the couch, but in generally speaking, the home is the place that you should really feel supported. So what should you consider before you start any home transformation project? Um, the first thing is, of course, the result. Uh, what kind of environment are you looking for? In what kind of pace? Um, are you in a hurry? Uh, do you want to take a little more time to decide upon things? So it's very important to really think about what is the result. Would you like the room to be lighter? Does it have to house different activities than is happening right now? Do you need new furniture or accessories? Or is it something a little more you know, robust? You really want to remove walls and create a whole new space. So you know, each of those uh, realizations also brings with uh, itself a timeline and uh, management of the different phases of your project. It's important to have an idea of what you're in for, right? So 
exactly that. What kind of experience would you like to have? Do you want it to go smooth? Do you want it to go quickly? Do you want to have people that support you all the way? Do you need to learn certain things? Or, you know, you, it's very important. People don't realize how important it is to also focus on the kind of experience. If you are very busy, you have a family, you have your work, you probably want a process that is more of a, you know, taken care for you kind of thing. Yeah, you don't want to be uh, working the entire day, take care of the kids, and then after that have to sit and go through all sorts of decisions when you are tired at the end of the day. So you probably need more people to support you with a project like that. But if you have more flexibility, you might say, and you also know how to do certain things around the house, you are a handy person. So maybe you want to do it by yourself and, you know, get, get experts in, in areas that you don't know what to do or you don't want to do it or you don't have time to do it. So it, it really is a very different process and you should realize that, you know. So, and what kind of investment um, in time and in money are you prepared for? So, the more we do ourselves, the more time that you're going to invest in it. So, that is your biggest investment, is really all the things you have to sort out and learn and do and research and go out there and all of that. If you want to invest less time, chances are you're going to have to invest a little more of dollars because then you'll have to hire someone that will do the, all the researching, the work, going out there, figuring it all out and bringing the options to you. So it's important to realize that. And sometimes you need a, a project, a plan in place, and you can phase it out, do it in different periods so that you can also accommodate your budgetary requirements. So these are all things that are very good topics to think about before you start, because then when you call in the experts, you already have a clear idea of what you want, and it will bring you uh, more relaxation in the process. You know, what we always try to do with our clients is to really have them relax a little more during the process so that we take the pain away, as it were. So this is a project that uh, part of the work was to really discover the new flow. It is an L-shaped um, space where they had like the dining area and the living room on the same um, zone in, in the drawing. And what I did, I moved the living room set up to in the diagonal um in the diagonal if you look at the dining table set so to speak so that made it possible to create flow lines and to open up the space so that is one of the things that is really very good with using a floor plan to just start mapping out what you want and how it looks and what the advantages are from one situation to the other so what degree of transformation are you looking for? It could be that it's just a small uh, transformation. It's a space, it's a room, it's uh, about uh, furniture that you have and you're gonna add or replace. So that is something that you can map out in terms of investment, time, what you need to know. That is quite, uh, let's say, a smaller kind of investment and all you need to prepare less for things and it's pretty straightforward we have a design platform where we can just roll out what it means in terms of budget and how it looks uh, for this kind of uh, mini projects room specific to rooms or to areas uh, then you can go for a partial transformation that includes a couple of spaces in your a home, maybe the living room, the family room, maybe an additional bedroom or something like that. Um, 
And maybe it's not about putting down walls, but it's about looking at materials, floors, surfaces, um, to substitute things. You might have carpet now that is worn out and you need other things. So all these things can be really planned out and mapped and, and a, a palette of uh, possibilities can be presented to you so that you can choose and make decisions upon that. But also the degree of transformation is still very much within uh, let's say a small scale um, uh, project. And then you of course have the total makeovers that involve maybe extending part of your home or breaking the kitchen or doing uh, kitchen and bathroom. So these things are a little more um, drastic, so to speak. They're more rigorous, so they need more preparation. You have to also present that to local government. You, you need a contractor. So it's a whole process that you have to have lined up in order to do something like this. And it can take um, almost a year sometimes if you're doing internal work. Um, sometimes depending on how ambitious the project is even over a year right so you have to take the time factor is really something to consider because sometimes you just don't have uh, that time or it's not the good moment to invest in such a long project so this is a visual of a partial transformation in which we just give a selection of uh, possibilities. So what degree of transformation do you design, the desire that we can design for you, for instance, or any other good professional? So um, give us some feedback. It's always nice to hear what you're doing and what kind of transformation you're looking for. And also if this presentation in any way helps you to think about your transformation and supports how you can start mapping out your own project. So this is us, Gary and us, and you can see that my hair was really so much shorter. I, I had a stylist in those days before we were all sheltered in place. So here's my email address if you want to shoot me an email. And also, let us know what are your uh, priorities. Every week, we are here from 11 to 12, refresh coffee time. And it's always a pleasure if you come and visit. Have a wonderful weekend. And we'll see you soon, we hope.